Good morning to you. Joe Soap to the rescue again. <laughs> oh dear. I've been asked to look at these sight transformers they're called. Very heavy. This one's 3.3 kVA. It's got some information on it. These are the sort of things builders use on site to drop uh, UK voltage of 240, 250 volts, that's the square pin, down to the round pin, and these are always yellow. And uh, as I say, they're nothing more than a transformer. Look at the state of them, look. Plaster all over them. Doesn't, uh, doesn't, look at this one. Doesn't uh, inspire you to their workmanship, does it? Look, this lead's been yanked out of here. There's a hole missing where I think there should be a, a reset. So, dodgy. Anyway, I'll still have a look, so I will have a look. But they're, they're pretty messy. Before I plug in anything to try anything electrical that I don't know where it's come from, never seen it before, I always look at the voltage rating, the input voltage. You know, never assume it is for the UK. It could be foreign. Some plonker could have put the wrong plug on the end. So, uh, you know, be safe to start with. Uh, judging by the state of these, anything could happen. I've come across these things, welders and all sorts of things. And when you look in the plug, some bright idiot has replaced the fuse with silver paper or oh God, or uh, a nail. You blow up the power station before you, the nail went. All right, I exaggerate, but you know my point. Here's an example. I just noticed this. It won't get in close. Look, that's half pulling out. Why? Because the clamp's gone. There's two screws missing there. So the little bridge that holds the wire is missing. I wonder what we're going to find in there. So I'm going to have a little look. Phillips. That's all rusted. That's all chipped. I think we'll replace that anyway. Let's have a look. Well, no nails, but doesn't look clever. There's a thing you've got to watch for. I just, I've, just, I've just undone this, right? Look. Can you see that earth lead there? Look. I get really in close. See what's happened there? Look, see how close it is to the positive side? This could end up being live. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I think we better have a look inside this one. Certainly not going to plug it in. If it will come apart. Small screwdriver. Small, oh there we go. They'll undo. What are they, Phillips? <laughs> well, a plaster. Oops. Bigger one that one. There you go. Let's have a go see if they'll undo or no. Yes. Usually a nut captive underneath, if I remember rightly. It usually drops out on the floor. Yeah, I was right. So they will be the same. Cool. You have enough. I'm always surprised these things have very little. Well, they're supposed to be waterproof. I'm not surprised. Um, but I'm always surprised they don't have more ventilation than they do. It's alright, found that nut on this one. If I saw some builder come in with equipment like this, it doesn't inspire a lot of confidence in them, does it? Well, that's the transformer. And this hole, look, is where the trip has come off. And there should be a nut 
on this side and that's missing. And I suspect there would have been a clamp on there. Now we'll just check out before we plug anything in. I used to have a a little multimeter for checking continuity with a an audio sounding position. This one hasn't got it and uh, neither is my favourite AVO. But I made this little thing up, which is a one of them. So we used to call these buzzets at one time. So I put that on Earth. Should come up to there. Yep. And that should go to that socket. Yep, and that one. Okay, our earths are there. But assume nothing. The earths are usually the largest ones. Yep. And that one, the largest pin. Fine. Okay. So we know the earth's connected, but we're going to replace that and make it good again. See if I can find a nut to fit this. Who makes it? Don't know. Okay, I'll temporarily, because I'm going to replace it, folks, put that top back on. Where? up on the floor. <laughs> now it's in the plug. Screw that up. That lead will want redoing before he gets it back. But uh, just for now, switch it on. No bang. Go and get 110 tools. <laughs> Got a little grinder here. Don't touch anything in there. And that goes like that. That was switched on, that was noisy. But anyway, it works. That was rather naughty, that being left on, wasn't it? Right, let's just try the other socket because you don't know. Yep. So far, so good. Right, well, I'll continue with this video. Um, sorry if it's going on a bit. I've just turned this upside down and that spell out. Okay. So I thought, oh well it holds this this trip in. I thought, well that can't possibly go through that hole. So how's it ended up inside to fall out there? And then I've suddenly realised if I can if it will come apart, let's have a look. Bear with me. That's that one. One of us meant to be bent as that one. Right, this is the this is the little trick getting shot. That's a little trip. It's got a part number, but what's happened is that end shape should be moulded into that part and it's all broken out. So, we really want another reset trip, call it what you will. It's at this stage, I'm going to say, that's it, I'm going to condemn this one. It's, it's really not worth it. Um, yes, you can buy one of those, and um, it's up to you whether you do or not, Dave. <laughs> but uh, it's really not worth it's really not worth my time to continue because at the best I'm going to end up with a bottle of wine, hint, hint. <laughs>
So, you're being condemned. Um, I could pursue it. If it was the only one I had and it was mine, I might do. But in this circumstances, I'm not. And what am I looking for? I'm looking for those. This one is that plug. Sorry, Dave, but needs must. I've cut the plug off. Whether you put a plug back on and use it or whatever you want to do is entirely up to you. I'm condemning this one. It's... It's not too difficult to see why the health and safety Nazis rose to such a high level, is it, when you sort of come across this all the time. It's not just one fault, it's compounded. And uh, it, it's just not worth the hassle. So we'll see if we can get this one on the go for you. here. Output voltage 110. Center tap. Continuous rating. Two and a quarter VA. Minimum tool rating. 20 minute. 20 minute tool rating. 3.3. .3. Sear and number. Isolate before removing cover. 3,300 V8. It's the same rating as this one over here. And this one it all works, okay? I've checked it out. Checked out the plug. It's all safe. You can do your own cleaning up on this one. As I've got quite enough other work to do. So, clean it up. And uh, when you come to collect, push the gate open with your knee, okay? Knock at the door with your foot. And uh, if I'm in the back shed, open the door with your elbow. Why have you got to do that? Well, you're not coming empty handed, are you? <laughs> The buzz check is made out of eighth welding rod. Got a small piece of of rod, so long. Uh, soldered a, a washer on the end, like so. Machined up a small piece of plastic that would fit the tube I had. Drilled it so that the that would fit in there. That's the end of our our probe. If you haven't got a lathe to make this, you can make it out of cork or anything you like, really. And then the whole thing clips into there and becomes the probe. The actual sounder itself is a little radio spares, piezo-y type little oscillator. This one goes from 6 to... 6 to 12 volts and uh, it exactly fits inside the tube which is handy the little battery that drives it is a little well this one's a little 12 volt camera type battery they're quite expensive but uh, it's only that I had it that I'm using this anyway this is the power source and it's uh, far too sloppy in the tube so either find yourself another tube or just wrap tape round it so it doesn't uh, rattle about. Here I've assembled the, the little buzz checker. I've soldered a lead on 
onto the little sounder which is pushed down the tube the battery goes in and pushes up against the, the little brass end you'll have to watch the uh, clarity of the battery obviously uh, for the piezo and then when the circuit is complete it's a crop clip at that end there's your little buzz chip